in the last video we drew our spider web and added glue so we could have extra tape you can't feel it now but if you touch this paper you can feel the glue all dried up and we paint over it it's going to look white the reason we're doing that is because we want it to look like there's droplets of water on top of the spider web. it looks really cool we're going to be painting using primary colors and secondary colors okay start off and we're going to start with our lightest color which is yellow Wet it up the paint just a little bit, swish and swish. That should be enough. Okay, and I'm gonna start in the corner here and paint that yellow. I'm going to be doing red. I want to always start with our primary colors when we're mixing colors. You can kind of see how the glue is popping out now. After red, we have blue. It's very important that you change your color, you wash your brush every time you change colors. Because you don't want to put the blue inside the red and make it purple. It'll be really yucky. Well, not yucky, but you'll mess up the red. Alright, next we have blue. the basic primary colors. Now we're going to be making our secondary colors. If I mix them red and blue, I should get purple. When you're mixing colors, you want to always start with the lighter color first. So we have red and blue. The lighter color is always going to be red. So we're going to start off with the red and paint right on top of the glue. my blue and mix it in there that's a little bit too dark for my liking so I'm gonna add some more red to it and just mix it right on top to get that beautiful purple we can move this over now and paint the whole thing purple I'm going to be doing orange to make orange we use yellow and red the lighter, the lighter color is going to be yellow so you start with the yellow lighter color first and we're going to mix red on top later start with a small area wash my brush swish and flick it right there on top and it makes orange this needs a little bit more orange and red with the yellow now we're going to 
next the last color we're making is going to be green to do that we start the large color again which is going to be yellow start with a small area wash my brush swish and flick and swish and dab I'm going to get them some blue and mix it here. That's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to get some more yellow. Wash my brush off. And add some more. That's the color I want. That's pretty green. green the point of mixing the colors for you guys to learn how to use how to mix them yellow and blue makes green but once you have the color you can go ahead and mix it use the one that's already there I'm gonna add a little bit yellow to that to make it lighter do the center back to yellow I'm making a pattern we start with the primary colors and secondary primary secondary and so on do red again over here to balance it out okay so we have red and red here I'm going to start off making purple and then orange right here so I start the light color first get some red thing then we get my yellow and that's gonna make orange let's move to this side now we have red let's start with the red To recap, we are making secondary colors with primary colors. Your primary colors are red yellow and blue we're going to make a powder always start with that first so we have purple green and orange i did a balancing one i did green on each side now we're going to do primary colors again and now it, you can start being creative it's up to you how you want to do it i might do some yellow here And 
over here, I might do a pattern of purple, okay? So I'm going to start with the red. How you paint it on your um, spider web is up to you as long as you use the primary colors to mix your secondary colors. So I have yellow, then we have purple. Add some blue to that. a pattern of yellow purple yellow purple all around try not to mix the colors together when you mix so yellow and purple are two colors that are across each other on the color wheel which is complementary when you mix your complementary colors that makes brown if i mix red and green that's gonna make brown if i mix blue and orange that will make brown also if i mix purple and yellow that will make brown also so try not to if you're doing this pattern like i am try not to mix it together as you go start with the lighter color a little bit red right here definitely more red there we go wash it really good get some blue go right over that again and push it up take your time just stay inside the lines okay Over here, we're gonna have purple again. So I'm gonna do it very briefly, just a little bit of line of red. Then I'm gonna get my blue and go right on top of that and make purple. Next, we have yellow. It's not a competition. Take your time and stay inside the lines. Make sure you get all the white spots. Okay. Next, I'm going to start with green here. Do green, red, green, red, green, red that's also a complementary color there are two colors across from each other on the color wheel so we start off with red yeah it's okay the spiders are messy After red, I'm going to do green, and this time we know how to make green. I'm going to go ahead and just use the green. See how I made brown? You mix the red and green together, it makes brown. So try not to do that. Unless you want to make brown. We're trying to do secondary colors, not brown. I'm not using lots of paint just a little bit a lot a little bit goes a long way wash your brush dab it down each time get some red
Next, I'm doing again complementary colors. I'm going to be doing blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. Once again, we're doing blue orange, blue orange, that they're complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on a color wheel. Next, orange, which will be yellow and red. Two more rolls. I think for this one, I'm going to be doing red, green, red, green again because I really like Christmas. Let's start with red. Once again, what you do on your spine web is up to you as long as you are making secondary colors with your primary. But I want to see a pattern. What well, primate you could do is say purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. Then you could do red. Orange, red, orange, red, orange. How you do it is up to you. As long as I see a pattern.
mistakes happen but you can always turn them into a masterpiece so we got lots of yellow here but that's okay let's just go over again with some red to make that purple again there we go mistakes happen that's okay There we go, see, no problem, fix. All right, and that's it. So recap, the elements of art we're using are color, line, and also actual texture. Once this dries, you can feel the glue popping through. The glue part will be the actual texture. You can actually touch and feel it. Then the next video, we're gonna be doing a spider and putting the spider on top. Oh, I forgot that part. But that's what we're doing.